Um, hey all bro, Blackman94 here, I'm going to be reacting to The Walking Dead because it's back, damn it. <laughs> With Season 8, Episode 9, Honor. So let's get to reacting. You rode out from the kingdom for dessert. Hells yeah. Still eating, Jerry. <laughs> Thought you'd lose weight in the future. Damn. Bearing Carl. Did not see this coming whatsoever. Okay, so they're gonna show us exactly how we got bit. Ah. See the chunk. Not really a chunk though, but the bite. Yep. So now we're gonna see how the saviors cleared the freaking walkers. Damn. Shoot at you, Morgan. Ah, so he led them there because he knew they were going to follow his ass. I'm going too. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere, Henry. <laughs> I can help you. Or you can die. You taught me the stick. You taught me the gun. It's my half. Yo, watch that kid, because if he ends up coming and dies, ooh, I'm blaming it on someone. Just in case, you know. Damn, you got something written. I was able to say goodbye. I said he's going to kill you. Bro, we heard you the There's first time. To stop that. So, Henry's there. Damn, really? Okay, good. So he's not worthless. Make them stop. <laughs> do I can do nothing? After they let up, after they're gone, that's when we go. That is the only good plan. <laughs> like, what else could they really do? All right, mission and go save King Ezekiel. Let's do it. Uh, you didn't get him the first time? <laughs> like, for reals, Mork. Oh, you just enjoying this, aren't you? It's not supposed to be like this. You hear that, writers? It wasn't supposed to be this way. Could've lived. See, you could have got yourself killed there. <laughs> then again, you're kind of immortal. <laughs> Stop picking dingles, grab your walkie, and respond. You're dead. <laughs> oh, call someone else, then they're dead. And another. <laughs> oh, you're going to be next. We'll both stay. Both stay and bury him. But who's gonna like put him down though? I'll get her there. We'll keep her safe. Yeah, you I need some brownie you. points because you and Tara's plan. <sighs> oh, he's gonna pass it on? No, it's yours. Wow, the feels. I don't know, just, just having it then. I always kept that with me. I know I can never repay you. But I can honor you. Honor him. Showing your people, your friends, your, your family, that what you did wasn't for nothing. Don't be a Noah. <laughs> You're all gonna die. <laughs> oh. And now are fools to fall for that trick. <laughs> Oh, got him, got him. Got him in the leg. Ooh. Oh, 
Pick up that gun, King. <laughs> if he doesn't pick up that gun. <laughs> oh, got freaking Morgan there. And why hasn't no one shot him yet? <laughs> Ooh! How far are you digging in there, dude? Ooh! Ooh. You should have threw the spear. <laughs> See if he landed. So true. You were hers, damn it. Back at the prison, when we got attacked. There was a kid. Yeah, and you shot him down. A little older than me. Oh, you sick, man. Do it like this. It's a man wanted. possessed. Huh? Tell him to start putting a gun down. Tell him to help you raise crops and the pigs. You don't want to do this. I know it. I can see it. I don't see it. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're kind of bullshitting, Carol. <laughs> you can see it in his eyes. He wants to do it. Yo. Ah. Uh. Henry, <laughs> so that's where you were this whole time? <laughs> Yo, he killed him. You have a beard. It's, it's bigger and grayer. So all this time, old man Rick was a dream. <laughs> was Carl's I have a dream. <laughs> wow. Did you know? Supposed to stay at the cottage. This Truth. You were supposed to do this wasn't for you, Carol. That's not even the guy who actually killed your brother. Like, <laughs> oh, this job is to protect his son. True, but you can't protect your son all the time. I have to do this. Uh, he's gonna take himself out. I thought it was gonna be Rick. Hmm. Ah, <sighs> it happens. Good morning to you, darling. Wow! <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> oh, Negan alive in this dream. Oh, we're gonna see if that's gonna go down that way, but oh, I don't know. So. Finally, it's done. They bury Carl. Who put him out? Freaking Carl did it himself. He was like, "Yeah, you two ain't gonna do it. <laughs> you don't got the ball. You got the heart, the balls to do it, possibly." So it's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna do it." It's shocking. Like he puts out his mom's, puts out himself. Like ah, they even had him freaking recall back season three of him killing the other freaking kid who was at the other side of that freaking war between you know the governor and them like wow they really were calling back stuff there like god damn it and, like the feels in that episode just having him like having a talk with judith saying like you know pops gave me this hat freak i'm gonna give you this hat now like ah why you gotta just do that walking dead writers like I was so surprised they actually had the bullets to freaking kill Carl off though. I really thought that he was going to survive this the longest <laughs> until season 11. Because that's, what, again, like, they said, like, oh, we're going to do up to 11 seasons. I'm like, okay, let's see how it's going to happen. But, like, damn, they really just killed him off. But, like, freaking, how do you pronounce that dude's name? The dude who he freaking, like, saved the guy I'm in this freaking map. What is it? Uh, I know it begins with an S. What is it? It's not Sadiq or freaking... I, I think it is. <laughs> Whatever it is, yeah, people probably know it. Correct me in the comment section, but like, don't make him a Noah situation, you know? Freaking, we save Noah's ass back in what was season was it? Was it was it season what was it four or five ish or so? No, I think it was season freaking five. No, 
seen, seen, seen for, for, I don't know, it's somewhere there in a freak of my memory is like out of it, but we saved him. Thought that he was actually gonna be freaking decent, whoever, since you know, Beth died, and yet, you know, who knows, maybe he actually can just be, you know, saving Grace later on. Nope, not really. Because <laughs> of his ass, freaking Tyrese is damn dead, and like, pretty much almost everyone he's surrounded with them pretty much die left and right, and then he just end up being devoured. So, I just hopefully, thank goodness, I freaking this new guy was a residential freaking doctor so he can actually help us damn out so just don't end up dying in an even a more gruesome horrible way in the near future but till then like uh oh my gosh like like what's gonna happen to rick is rick gonna like freaking go back into his like freaking ruthless path because like when freaking rory died like he snapped and he started killing Rick crazy so it's like even though he kind of like, Promise, like, Carl, like, you know, uh, Carl and him having that talk, so like, yo, we all can live, we can all can survive at the end of this, and you can see that the old man freaking Rick thing was all this time, this dream that freaking Carl had for the future for everyone, you know, Alexandra being bigger, everyone back, you know, you know, got even Eugene back, you got freaking Jerry still alive, you know, still going for damn food. And you even have Negan alive, working in Alexandria, not even in chains or anything. So it's, it's interesting, like, what Carl expects the future going to be. But, like, with him dying, it's like, uh, I don't know if Negan's going to be in that dream, Carl. Like, <laughs> like, I don't know. It's like, again, I don't see, you know, I didn't see no previews yet or anything, but it's like, I don't know. Especially with Rock and Dead writers right now, they wouldn't be so unpredictable. If even if Negan even so dare survives in the comic books, who knows? He might just end up being dead now. Like, uh, I don't know. It's like, what's going to be the end game with Negan? It's like, is he going to go after going on a killing spree now? Is now freaking Rick's going to talk to Darren and be like, you know what? You were right. <laughs> Probably should have killed them all. But till then, it's just the inevitable though. But... The other freaking other side of this episode was freaking save King Ezekiel. They freaking save King Ezekiel, but in the meantime, it's like Morgan. <laughs> Are you gonna be out of your funk, man? Like, was it really worth it just <laughs> killing all those dudes? And in the end, when he got to that one savior, it's like that wasn't even the savior who killed the kid. <laughs> Isn't he still alive back in the freaking hilltop? So it's like. What's in your mindset? It's like, did he just do that because he knew that what all those men were present at the day that that kid died? So he was like, no, they all have to die. Was that all it? If not, like, just damn. And even, like, freaking Morgan even get to kill him. It was the freaking kid Henry. <laughs> like, yo, Henry, first and foremost, like, why was it no one watching Henry? <laughs> like, the meaning, the moment freaking... Not before even, like, Carol even, like, met up with freaking Morgan. Like, Morgan was like, wait a minute, that's freaking Henry. What is he doing here? <laughs> like, oh, my gosh. Like, uh, I'm surprised, like, no savior, like, spotted freaking Henry. Like, uh, what's up? So, freaking, like, I'll give you, you know what, Henry, I'll give you props. You literally sneak past, past the freaking savior to the point that you even got behind that freaking leader and just killed him well no one noticing like ah oh, oh my gosh like i just hope he doesn't become the next lizzie that kid <laughs> oh my gosh but then if so well freaking carol put him out but uh time will tell with that freaking kid though but uh the second half of season a is it gonna be good is it gonna be bad it's gonna be another journey Either way, like or dislike the video. Comment below what you guys saw the episode. If you're new, please subscribe. I'm the Pro Black Band 94, and I am signing off.